we count the money. I got a bitch, she gon' kill for real. Talking about Clyde and Bunny. Go with the kid, copy. Got to pull up with a stick, stop it. Hey y'all, welcome or welcome back to my channel. It's your girl KK Reads. So today's videos are gonna be what major blessings are coming to you in 2024. So I hope that these messages resonate. I hope that you enjoy this reading and we're gonna jump right on into it. Make these messages as clear as possible, universe. Thank you very much for pound number one. What major blessings are coming in for pound number one? What major blessings are coming in for pound number one? Okay, so the card that came up for you is Surrender. At the bottom of the deck, we do have um, Courage. I don't know if you can't see that because of light, but whatever. But I feel like a ma major blessing that's coming in for you in 2024. I definitely see, see you letting go of things because you have enough courage, tenacity. I heard that word just now too. To do things that you actually really want to do. And let go of how people may feel, how people may judge you, how people may, um, you know, give their opinion. A un unsolicited opinion i feel like that's a major blessing that's coming in letting go of like trying to control the narrative like you yourself trying to control the narrative of how your story should be and how your story should pan out and actually allowing like i hear let go that god especially for those that believe in god if you don't if you know deem god to be a higher power just let go and let whoever you um your divine you know whoever your higher power is um Let's get some more cards. Make these messages as fast as possible, universe, spare, spare, guys. I hear the blessings are coming in for pound number one. I hear the blessings are coming in for pound number one. I also just heard put your best foot forward. You put your best foot forward. What major blessings are coming in for pound number one? We have the nine of cups. What major blessings are coming in for pound number one? We have the two of pentacles. What major blessings are coming in for pound number one? We have the ace of pentacles. What major blessings are coming in for pound number one? What major blessings are coming in for pound number one? We have the four of cups. What major blessings are coming in for pound number one? We have the ace of wands. What major blessings are coming in for pound number one? We have the star pile. What major blessings are coming in for pound number one? We have the Six of Pentacles. What major blessings are coming in for pound number one? We have the Moon card. What major blessings are coming in for pound number one? We also have the Queen of Wands. <clears throat> the overall energy for this reading. We have the Five of Swords. And at the bottom of the deck, we do have the Four of Wands. And we have the Devil card in the back. Okay. So, pound number one. I feel like for this pile, take what resonates a lot. I feel like a lot of you may um pray or worship different entities. Like, you know, I'm not gonna get too much into that, but that's kind of what I'm picking up on for some of you guys. Okay, so with the nine of cups being the first card that came out, I definitely do feel like there's an uh in the nine of cups, the um I'm about to say the wheel of fortune, nine of cups and the star card. And the moon card. I feel like there's the major blessings that's coming in is the major things that you continuously pray for and manifest into your life is coming into fruition for you. Okay, I feel like some of you are um with the two of pentacles and the ace of pentacles. I feel like which is equivalent to the three of pentacles, right? I feel like a lot of you will be either getting a second job or you're gonna find a job or you're gonna do something that's gonna be being able to pay you maybe a lot of money and you know to the point where if you have any bills that are outstanding 
I think that's a good word to put, uh, that's a good way to put it. If you have any bills that's outstanding or, you know, um, overdue, I feel like you can be able to pay them. If you are right now living paycheck to paycheck, I do feel like there's going to be one thing that gives you a real huge sense of stability. Some of you could be getting a huge lump sum of money. Okay. I, but I, I am definitely seeing money coming in for you to the point where you are able to share with other people. If you so choose with the six of cups, I'm sorry, with the six of pentacles being here. Um, I feel like this path, you guys are definitely my major manifestors, my, um, my spiritual workers, my light workers. Um, you may do hoodoo, voodoo. Um, you may use candles to manifest. You may journal. Um, you know, and it's a lot of you may pray a lot as well. I do feel like with the um, Queen of Wands, you're going to be doing something that is more creative for you. Some of you are going to be in a limelight in some way, shape, or form. And I feel like that's going to be bringing you a lot of um, money as well. Some of you could be on social media. And that's going to be another source of income for you. Some of you could be on social media and you're going to have a, like a particular video that blows up that gives you a large sum of money. Take that as it resonates. But I am getting a sense that a lot of you are going to be starting a new job with the Ace of Wands being here. And I'm also feeling like, um, I just seen 555 on the clock, 555. I feel like with the Ace of Wands being here, like I said, major manifestors. And I feel like you're, um, some of you could be singers, rappers, um, poets. You're someone that likes to write a lot. Um, let's see, with the four of wands, knight of cups, the wheel of fortune, here we go. So I, I just feel like you stepping into good karma in the year of 2024. You stepping into good karma to the point where people may be apologizing to you, or a lot of people may want to talk to you because we even have the um king of wands being here. Some of you may um be meeting your divine counterpart. Take that as it resonates. Because I was saying something about earlier about divine counterpart. And that's not what I was trying to say. So some of you could be finding your divine counterpart, someone that is matching your energy. Um, some of you, it could even be a business partner. I'm seeing here as well. I'm seeing a sense of vulnerability because with the star card and the moon card, there's two naked, like they're all well, together, again, the number three, three naked people. I'm hearing third time's a charm. So you could have been trying to do something maybe for three years, three months, three weeks, three days, and you are finally getting some type of reward. But I do see everything balancing itself out, especially when it comes to your finances and your money. With the Four of Cups being here, um, I feel like a major, another major blessing that's going to be coming in for you is not because um, worrying too much about what people say and how people feel, doing things that make you happy, doing things that make you feel good. Even though people are like, they're not doing any, they don't have, like, ugh. the things that people are saying, is they're not saying it for any type of malicious intent they're saying it because they care about you and they love you and they don't want you to be like um <clears throat> you know down and out but i feel like you you're gonna be doing things that just makes you feel more comfortable make you feel good i feel like you're overhearing people's opinion like i said earlier unsolicited opinion you tired of people judging you or people that love you sitting here making you feel less than so i feel like you're going towards celebrations. You're going towards your friends. You're going towards people that actually, you know, want to see you successful. Not even, not what not want to see you successful. They want to see you successful in the things that you're doing. Like I said, if you could be doing something on social media or trying to be a star in some way, shape, or form. Like I said, I feel like this pal, you could be poets, rappers, singers, you know, songwriters. Like, you like to write. You know, you like to write for other people. Some of you may, I heard plagiarism. Some of you may have even gotten paid before in the past to write people's essays. You know, people do stuff like that in movies. I don't know if that stuff is real. I ain't never do that. But, <laughs> you know, you work very well with your hands for some of you. That's why I'm saying, like, with the writing. Some of you could be artists, but I'm feeling, I'm feeling more of writing or drawing. But let's get some more information on this pal. Make these messages as clear as possible. And also with the Five of Swords being here, I feel like you're going to be getting the last laugh. And I feel like it's, it's unintentional. You're not sitting here trying to be like, aha, look what I'm doing. You're not doing this. I don't feel like you're trying to do that. I just get a sense that you worked really hard to get to where you are, where you are at. You know what I'm saying? It took you a long time to surrender. Exactly what it says, surrender. Um... Surrender that ego, surrender caring about people's opinions, surrender um, not having the courage, the faith, the will, or believing in yourself. People around you helped with that as well. Again, the number three is prominent. 
Make these messages just as clear as possible, universe, very square, guys. What major blessings is coming towards prime number one in 2024? What major blessings are coming towards prime number one in 2024? We have spread your wings. What major blessings are coming in for prime number one in 2024? We have communicate. What major blessings are coming in for prime number one in 2024? Self-limiting beliefs. I just heard the price went up. <laughs> and we also have a treat. Okay, you could have been doing something and you could have been giving your talent away for free. You know, like I said, if you are a drawer, if you are someone that writes or something like that, somebody will actually like, oh, hey, do you think you could read this over? Hey, do you think that you could reread this or something like that? And you'll be like, yeah, sure. And you're not expecting anything from anybody. But now I feel like um, you, you are really good at whatever you're doing. You're really good at whatever you're doing. And now, like I said, the price went up. Now there is a price. You get me? With spread your wings. It says confidence that leads to freedom and growth. Um, I feel like, like I said, you're doing something that maybe you were scared to do or, like I said, you didn't want to put a price on it, so you're doing it for free. Um, the self-limited beliefs, you probably didn't believe in yourself. You probably didn't believe that you could go as far as you you are. You, you know what I mean? Like, when you have people around you that is not doing the same thing as you, it's kind of hard to be motivated to do something different. Because nobody else done it around you. You know, you ain't seen nobody else doing this. You, you get what I mean? So you start to doubt yourself like, damn, maybe I can't do this. But I feel like in 2024, I feel like you you putting that to the side. And you just like, fuck that. I'm doing this. We have communicate, receive, and express the truth. So I feel like you're going to be communicating with people that, like I said, the price went up. Or this is what I want to do. Uh, I'm also hearing like, I don't care about your opinion. I'm going to do what I want to do. Let's get some more information. What major lessons are coming in for Pound number one in 2024? You have light in your load. What major blessings are coming in for Pound number one in 2024? What major blessings are coming in for Pound number one in 2024? We have family. What major blessings are coming in for Pound number one in 2024? And we also have spirit guide at the bottom of the deck. We do have career. It's like, got something to do with your career. I'm trying to tell you, right? You're going to be focusing on your career or turning something into a career. Something that you probably thought it was just a hobby. You turn it into a career. I'm also feeling like with lightening your load, light, lightening your load is like letting go of people, letting go of negative thoughts. Um, I just heard strenuous, something that's strenuous on your back. You could be doing something, um, a job that you could be having right now is something that is a lot of heavy lifting for some of you. Um, take that as it resonates. I also see with family that your family, is, is the bond is going to get tighter because of the separation. Um, for some of you, the, the I don't know, you could be making new friends that turns into family. We have spirit guide. Like I said, I feel like this pal is very blessed. I feel like this pal is major manifestors and I feel like your ancestors um, is ready to give because you are deserving. You are always deserving, but you know, I feel like you went through some type of karmic cycle and it's like now is your time. What major your lessons are coming in for pound number one? We have change. It's a slow change, but the change is coming. We also have focus at the bottom of the deck. What major blessings are coming in for pound number one in 2024? We have golden healer. Golden healer courts. Yep, open the door. Okay, new doors are opening, new roads are opening for you. Remember your word. And then we're going to get this last one. Major blessings are coming in for Pound number 1 to 2024. And we also have Believe in the Impossible Blue Moon. You are good enough. Full Moon and Virgo. So Pound number 1, that's all I really have for you. I hope that it resonated. I hope that you enjoyed this reading. If you did, let me know in the comment section, baby. I will definitely catch you guys in the next one. Peace, babies. Hello, my beautiful pound number two. Welcome, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, KK Reads. Today's reading is going to be what major blessings are coming in for you in 2024. I hope that these messages resonate. I hope that you enjoyed this reading. And we're going to jump right on into it. Please make these messages as clear as possible. Remember, spirit, spirit, guys, what major blessings are coming in for pound number two? Please remove any energy from pound number one. So pound number two can get the clarity that they truly need and deserve. Please just name my pretty alien. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, so make these messages as clear as possible. Remember, spirit, 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 guys, what major blessings are coming in for pound number two in 2024? Major blessings. What major blessings are coming in for pound number two in 2024? Major blessings are coming in for pound number 
Okay, at the bottom of the deck, the, the, <laughs> the bottom of the deck, we have guilt. And the card that actually came out for you is change. It says, I understand that nothing can grow or evolve without movement. So <clears throat> some of you may have been drawn to pound number one. If you were, you should go check out pound number one because I already feel like these two cards alone makes me feel connected to pound number one. I feel like um, a major blessing is coming in for you. I feel like no longer feeling guilty. I heard in the closet. I've seen the closet. I've seen the door. Some of you could be trapped in a closet. And what I mean by that, some of you could be hiding one's true self. And I feel like a major blessing that's coming in 2024 is that you're going to be changing that. If you are someone that's more flamboyant, you're going to be more flamboyant. If you like to wear colors, you're going to be wearing a lot of colors. If you are someone that's loud, you're going to be loud. You are going to be authentically true to yourself. That's going to be a major change in 2024. Like, not feeling guilty about who you are, not feeling guilty about what you want to do, not feeling guilty about how you treat people. You get what I mean? Because you may be someone that's like, when people treat you a certain type of way, you don't have the heart to treat people the same way that they treat you. But I feel like in 2024, you're not doing that no more. So if somebody's malicious, lying, deceitful, you might not be that because that's not the type of person that you are. But if you feel some type of way, you want to speak on it. If you don't like it, you want to speak on it. Okay? No more feeling guilty about putting your foot down and having people respect you. No more feeling guilty about being you. Whether that is you, that whether that is you being someone that is a masculine, you more feminine, or being a feminine that's more masculine, you want to be true to yourself. Make the best just as clear as possible. Universe, spirit, spirit guides. Only the blessings are coming in for pound number two. Please make the universe just as clear as possible for pound number two. Only the blessings are coming in for pound number two. We have the Five of Swords. We need the blessings are coming in for Pound Two. We have the Three of Swords. We need the blessings are coming in for Pound Two in 2024. We have the Knight of Swords. We need the blessings are coming in for Pound Two in 2024. We have the King of Wands. We need the blessings are coming in for Pound Two in 2024. We have the Six of Swords. What major blessings are coming in for Pound Number Two in 2024? We have the Two of Swords, a lot of swords. What major blessings are coming in for Pound Number Two in 2024? We have the Eight of Cups. What major blessings are coming in for Pound Number Two in 2024? Major are coming in for number two in 2024. We have the Wheel of Fortune. What major blessings are coming in for number two in 2024? And we also have the Sun card. And we have the Ace of Wands as the overall energy for this reading. And we have the Knight of Wands. And we also have the Strength card in the back of the deck. So power number two, I, I feel like with all these swords, you know, swords is... Um, Air energy, so Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, you don't have to be any of those signs, or you could simply be someone that's more of a logical thinker. You are very smart. You know, you are someone that, um, you smart, I heard smart has, you know. Um, but I feel like you are definitely, give me a second. Some of you could be moved through a heartbreak, that, that could be a, a major blessing. In 2024, moving through a heartbreak, I, 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 like I was saying earlier, I feel like you are going to give people a piece of your mommy. I feel like you've always been a smart ass, but you were very cautious about who you were a smart ass to because, you know, people are sensitive. And you don't like hurting people's feelings, but the same people that you sit there and try to walk on their shells with their feelings, they would talk to you crazy or any type of way. And I feel like in 2024, that's going to be a major blessing is, is giving people the same treatment that they give you, period. Some of you will also be signing some type of contract. Okay, some of you could be signing some type of contract. I heard, with, I'm looking at the Wheel of Fortune, I heard windfall of money. You could have a windfall of money coming in. Things turning in your, your favor. Because you deserve it. And you have um, emotionally detached yourself from people, places or things. With the Eight of Cups, Wheel of Fortune, and the Sun card. 
certain things have re re certain things have revealed itself you trust the process you know what i'm saying i feel like you know I, I, in my personal opinion i feel like good karma comes in especially when you don't when you don't care too much about certain things i really feel like karma good karma comes in or good things happen when you don't care as much when you're not so emotionally invested in certain things and i feel like you learned that and you learned to um pour more into your own cup with the eight of cups being here like be a little bit more emotionally detached emotionally detached some of you could be moving as well with the six of swords being here that's gonna be a major blessing that's coming in for 2024 some of you could be moving moving on leaving people behind um healing from a heartbreak like i was saying before with the three of swords here you could be healing from a heartbreak and I, and I feel like the knight of swords just simply defending yourself more speaking up for yourself I'm hearing, let's get loud, let's get loud. So, like, people that yelled at you or people that raise their voice, you're raising your voice too. You could be a person that really gets, like, you get calm. You don't yell. You know what I'm saying? Like, I feel like that's not going to change too much. But if, if somebody's yelling at you, you're going to be yelling at them. You feel me? And not feeling bad about it, not feeling guilty about it. Because people be talking hot to you, not and they know how your mouth could get, but it's like you don't do it because you have a lot of respect. I'm not saying respect is out the window, but also with the King of Wands being here, I feel like you are um King of the King of Wands and the Ace of Wands, you are more career driven, <clears throat> more passionate about stuff. Okay, passionate about this new beginning. This new fun, I feel. This is what I'm saying. Some of you in 2024, you could be in a space where you just want to enjoy life. Like, you're not looking for no type of real commitments at this point in time. You know what I mean? We have the Knight of Wands, the Magician, and the Ten of, the Ten of Wands. Like, I, I really feel like you're not looking for any type of commitment at this point, like right now. I feel like you are looking for your own solitude and happiness. I feel like commitment is kind of out the window for this pal. But, you know, take what resonates. I feel like you've been hurt a lot or hurt enough. In this year, 2023, you could have went through, like, like I said, a breakup. And a major blessing that's coming in 2024 is you healing. What major blessings are coming in for pal number two in 2024? We have self-limited beliefs. What major blessings are coming in for pal number two in 2024? We also have fear. What major blessings are coming in for pal number two? In 2024 we also have soulmate and we have manifestation at the bottom of the deck so i feel like fear says expecting the worst afraid of failure wasting time on negative thoughts i feel like a major blessing that's coming in 2024 like i was saying before like you not being scared of being yourself you know letting go of fear letting go of resentment letting go of a heartbreak um, soulmate says the divine will provide you with love when you are ready. <laughs> you know, I feel like you're not ready in 2024. You know, love could be coming in for you, of course, because, you know, there's uh, times where you are not looking and unexpectedly you meet somebody. So I feel like maybe a soulmate doesn't have to be a romantic partner. That's, this could be a friend. This could be a, a fur baby. Okay. I feel like with the sublimated beliefs, like I was saying before, you are believing more in yourself. It says negative thoughts are creating a roadblock in your life. But this is what I'm saying. Like, you're not thinking negatively anymore. Or you're not staying trapped in your mind as much. Maybe you could have been like a, a huge overthinker. What major blessings are coming in for pound number two in 2024? We have finding. What major blessings are coming in for pound number two in 2024? We have commitment. What major blessings are coming in for pound number two in 2024? We have new beginnings. And we also have forgiveness at the bottom of the deck. So, I feel like you're finding oneself. You're finding yourself. 
that's a major blessing that's coming in 2024. Like I said, with the soulmate and the commitment, I don't feel like you're going to be looking for anything. But when you're not looking, that's when you may find something. Some of you, I really feel like you're not even going to be thinking about love at all. But for others of you, you know, commitment is going to be coming to you. I also feel like with new beginnings, new doors is going to be opening. Let's get some more. What major blessings are coming in for pound number two in 2024? We have transformation at the bottom of the deck. We do have wisdom, a change. Like I said, with the finding, transformation, spreading your wings, um, going from a slow caterpillar to a beautiful fluttering butterfly. What major blessings are coming in for pound number two in 2024? We have Labradorite, we have See the Magic, we also have Unikite, Live in the Now. So you can't even see it, but this picture kind of resembles this one. This is green and blue, and this is also green and blue. So the green and blue could be very significant to you. Blue is a color of tranquility, um, peace. Green is a color of grounding. I just see you flourishing a lot in 2024. Major blessings are coming in for pound number two in 2024. Everything happens for a reason. I felt compelled to say that. We also have confidence is your keys to success. New moon and Leo. Everything is about you. You are good enough again. Um, but yeah, confidence is the key to success. Everything is about you. Right now it's time for you to be in the spotlight. Right now it's time for you to... Um, pick your path and go down that path. Follow the sun. Follow the light. I hope that that resonated. I hope that you enjoyed this reading. If you did, let me know in the comment section. Thank you guys so much for being here. Peace out, y'all. Hello, my beautiful pal number threes. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, KK Reads. Period. So today's reading is going to be what major blessings are coming in for you in 2024. I hope that these messages resonate. I hope that you enjoyed this reading. If we want to jump right on into it, please remove any energy from pound number one and pound number two. So pound number three can get the clarity that you truly need and just think of great energy. Thank you guys so much. What major blessings are coming in for pound number three in 2024? What major blessings are coming in for pound number three in 2024? What major blessings are coming in for pound number three in 2024? We have humor and then we have balance at the bottom of the deck. <laughs> You're getting the last laugh. I feel like 2024 is going to be a very lucky year. This, this, That was kind of like the whole collective reading for both pals that you guys are getting the last, the last laugh. I feel like it's your time to be successful. It's your time to be successful, be in a good headspace. Humor says, I choose to focus on the lighter side of, the lighter side of life. And balance says, I bring a state of perfect harmony into my world, and I do so without judgment. Just find a peace within yourself. I don't know if some of you practice Buddhism. Some of you may have Buddha in your house for good luck. Let's see what else we have. These messages to this part. Thank you, guys. Thank you guys. One of the blessings are coming in for pound number three. Major blessings are coming for pound number three in 2024. Major blessings are coming for pound number three in 2024. Major blessings are coming for pound number three in 2024. We have the Ten of Swords. Major blessings are coming for pound number three in 2024. Okay, we have the Wheel of Fortune. What major blessings are coming in for pound number three in 2024? We have the Nine of Swords. What major blessings are coming in for pound number three in 2024? We have the Knight of Cups. What major blessings are coming in for pound number three in 2024? We have the Two of Wands. What major blessings are coming in for pound number three in 2024? Two of Pentacles. What major blessings are coming in for pound number three in 2024?
We have the Five of Wands. Let me just let me come through this one twenty four. We have the Ace of Swords. Let me just let me just come through twenty twenty four. We have the Six of Cups. Overall energy for this reading is the Queen of Pentacles, and we also have the Page of Wands, and we have the Judgment. You are taking chances in 2024. A lot of flipping and splitting and all this extra shit going on here. Um, Ten of Swords, I do see like, I feel like something is going to be ending. Transformation is going to be made. It's going to be something that is um, much needed. It's not going to be... Because this, this, this is very interesting. We have the Ten of Swords, we have the Wheel of Fortune, and we have the Nine of Swords. So the, the transformation that is happening is something that needed to happen. You get me? Might not feel the best for some of you, but it's something that needed to be happen. That needed to happen. I feel like something. I. Yeah, I should. I want to say that something's being re revealed to you. Like maybe um someone not being their true authentic self. Somebody not being real with you. Um, and this could cause. Some. I feel like you're finally breaking a cycle with someone. Some people. Take that as it resonates. Like something is finally coming to an end that needs to come to an end. It's not going to feel good, but it's, like I said, it's something that's needed. The Knight of Cups being here. Some of you could have a new romantic interest coming in. Uh, this I feel like new love is coming in for you. If, if that's what you want. If that's not what you want, then hey, shit. Somebody could be coming in with an apology. But I do feel like there's new love coming in. But it could be an apology because we do have the Knight of Cups and we also have the Six of Cups. But like I said, for some of you, it could be a whole new romantic partner or a little crush or whatever someone could be coming and telling you that they have a crush and you could be going on dates and stuff like that um some of you could also be like loving on yourself more taking yourself out bringing yourself flowers but I, I'm, I'm getting a sense that somebody else is going to be doing that for you bringing you flowers giving you flowers making you feel good um with the two of wands being here i do feel like um if you was going to do something a major blessing that's coming in if you was going to do something one way it's going to you're going to have to or you want to figure out how to do something else another way where you are, like, you realizing that the world is yours. You are able to travel, move around. You get me? Um, something that gives you more wiggle space. Before, maybe it was a little bit too tight. Uh, wasn't giving you the... What am I looking for? The rewards that you were looking for? I feel like something new in 2024. A major blessing that's coming in that another... For some of you, it could be another job, another passion, another career, another plan, another goal that's going to be successful for you. Um, with the Five of Wands being here, I am seeing that this is what I mean about the fake friends and stuff because we have the Five of Wands, the Ace of Swords. I feel like people are going to be finally showing them true selves. I feel like people are going to, like people could have been mentally competed with you and you're going to win. I mean, I, I don't think it's a competition, but um, some of you could have also with the, um, the Six of Cups being here, um, you may have lost yourself for a while in 2023. You get me? You could have lost yourself a little bit. You wasn't your true self. Like maybe you could have been a person that had a lot of money. Then you went from having a lot of money to no money or a little to no money. Um, I do feel like with the Queen of Pentacles being an overall energy, being um your overall energy card, I see that you're going to be a little bit more stable, financially stable. Maybe being able to help others if you so choose. The Page of Wands and the Five of Pentacles. Yeah, I feel like... Someone is someone, somebody, people, whatever is going to be leaving you alone. But with them leaving you alone, I feel like you're going to be learning a sense of patience, not being so temperamental, um, but also enjoying life, having more fun, you know, living in the now. Interesting. Let's see what else we have. What major blessings are coming in for pound number three in 2024? What major blessings are coming in for pound number three in 2024? We have so many. What major blessings are coming in for pound number three in 2024? What is happening? What major blessings are coming in for pound number three in 2024? We have overcome obstacles. What major blessings are coming in for pound number three in 2024? We also have release. At the bottom of the deck, we have resolving issues. So... I feel like, like I said before, like things could have been a little bit tough, but I feel like you're going to be overcoming those things and letting go of people, places, and things, things that no longer serve you. Um, you know, it's kind of like feng shui. This, like, is, there's a certain way that your house have to be so you be able to move fortune into your house or good luck and things like that into your house. 
So I feel like, you know, having stagnant people or having certain people in your life can keep you stagnant or stuck or in the same place where you don't see any growth. You get me? Because those people are being stuck stagnant and it could be bringing your ass down as, as well. Um, like I said before, and a lot of you may have watched Pal 1, Pal 2, and this is your, you know, you watch watching Pal 3 as well. I do feel like there's going to be new love coming in. It's going to be a soulmate, someone that is like, um, you know, someone is meant for you. And I feel like soulmates doesn't have to be lovers, but it could be a lover, a romantic partner, a friend, or it could be a fur baby. Somebody could be getting fur animals, you get me? But I definitely do see you overcoming a lot of obstacles. Things that could have been hard for you before is going to be easier for you now. The world is turning in your favor. What major blessings are coming in for pile number three in 2024? Look, whatever. I was just talking about good luck. We have good luck here. What major blessings are coming in for pile number three in 2024? We have career. What major blessings are coming in for pile number three in 2024? Major blessings are coming in for pound number three in 2024. And we also have finding. We have transformation at the bottom of the deck. Let's get uh, some more cards. This one was really quick and straight to the point. I don't feel like 2023 could, like I said, it could have been rough. It could have been tough. And, you know, 20. Ugh. Losing things and going through a whole healing process is very annoying. Overthinking is very annoying. Um,. I heard oversaturating yourself, oversaturating your mind is very annoying. And it doesn't even have to be that hard. With people, when once people show their true selves and they show that, okay, I'm not really for you, you gotta let people go. You get me? Because that becomes roadblocks. That becomes you in a repeated cycle that you don't need to be in. That's where, you know, problems start to happen. That's where stagnation starts to happen. That's where things start to slow down for you. But I feel like in 2024, you see how I got the, my hand is moving in a circular rotation. I feel like the ball is gonna be rolling. You get what I mean? The ball is going to be rolling. A lot of good luck is going to be coming in. Your career is going to be better. Better. You're going to be finding yourself. You're going to be finding friends. People are going to be finding you. Okay, what major blessings are coming in for pound number three in 2024? We, we have again release. We have again release. And at the bottom of the deck, we do have blessings. I can see that some of you may be um, considering or thinking about doing a major chop. Is it major? I said major chop. Big chop. I said major chop. I'm sorry. A big chop to your hair. Maybe clipping your ends or shortening your hair in some way, shape, or form. Um, some some of you doing are doing something with your natural hair. Some of you are going to be wearing um, like head wraps a little bit more often. Some of you are going to stop wearing wigs. For those of you that do wear wigs, um, I feel like you're going to be taking care of your hair better. Like it's your crown because your hair is your crown. Let's see what else we have. What major blessings are coming in for pound? Number three in 2024. All right, so we have Rotonite, and it says, find a way to forgive. At the bottom of the deck, we have Iolite. It says, shift your money mindset, and we're going to get one more card. Let me do blessings that come in for pound number three in 2024. And we also have conclusions are within reach, full moon eclipse, okay? There's a lot of endings happening. What do you need to release? A lot of endings happening. And don't be afraid of endings. You get me? Don't be afraid of a transformation, a change. Um, certain things, like I said, certain things have to happen. Always, if you are a person that prays, pray. Pray for strength. Pray, pray for forgiveness. If you, you know, you, you know you've done things wrong or you have done things that from ill intentions pray for forgiveness so pound number three that's all i really have for you i really do hope that it resonated i hope that you enjoyed this reading if you did let me know in the comment section babies i will catch you guys in the next one